Hello there, everybody. This is the Arctic Podcast here today, and today I have an overview of an update that just came out yesterday for me. It's gonna be two days ago for you. It was Friday, uh, March seventh, and it was an update for Seven Days to Die. Uh, the f- amazing developers of this game, the Fun Pimps, have begun to do a thing where they will release an update every Friday. They're trying this out because uh, a lot of people were saying that it didn't update fast enough. Um, I thought that it was good because they have like usually big updates every month. But now they're um, making smaller updates every week. And I was kind of on the verge of not making this video because um, I was not sure if it was big enough, this update, to do an overview of the included features. But it's quite small. But I'm still going to do this overview because it has some important things. Uh, Starting with the smallest feature, you'll see on your screen the New World menu. They've added day slash night length percentage options so that you can keep them the way they are or make the days longer. Um, I personally keep them in the way they are because I think I want it to be as uh, realistic and difficult as possible. Well, I, I usually keep it on like medium difficulty, but... I like the night and day length to be equal. Um, Finally, they have added a hunting rifle crafting system. So any of you looking to make a hunting rifle and go take out some pigs and and deer and rabbits with a hunting rifle, you can do so now. Uh, I mean, if you don't find one and you can craft them now, it's pretty cool, I think. Uh, But now for the bigger stuff. Many new points of infra- interest have been added to the map, such as a police station, a truck stop, and eight new campsites. I haven't actually found any of them yet, but I'm sure they're strewn about the map in many places to make it more interesting, and I'm sure they're fantastic. I mean, knowing the fun pimps, this, they're probably very cool points of interest. Uh, now on the minimap, you will see that the smell detection will be, will be, will be displayed on the map with smellier meats, the smell radius will be incredibly large. Uh, this happens with meats such as raw meat or charred meat. With boiled meats, actually, I found out there is no smell. So, uh, you can go carry around boiled meats. I think there's no smell because it's harder to make. You actually need water to make the boiled meats, which uh, I think that's pretty cool that it doesn't emanate a smell. To go along with the different kind of meats, there are new sickness effects. It's just the beginning of the sickness effects, but... Um, for eating raw meat, you I think you will take some damage. Like if you if you eat a slab of uncooked pork, you'll take some damage. And um, I'll, a smaller thing, if you like eggs, you can now boil them up and eat them as hard-boiled eggs. It's pretty cool, I think. Probably the most prominent feature included in this update, it would have to be the beginning of the character customization. So far, your stats will be kept in this menu along with the level of your character and an armor system. The armor system is in its very early stages, and as when you go into third person, you can't even see the armor. But it's still quite cool. You can cr- currently craft leather and iron helmets, chest plates, gloves, pants, and boots. Uh, I think it's utterly fantastic that they're implementing elements to an RPG game, because that's one of the games that they're mashing up, one of the genres that they're mashing up into this game. And it's so cool they have so many different genres, because it's just amazing. and. They're starting to add the RPG stuff, which is definitely very, very cool. Uh, and eventually, of course, we will see skill trees, full character customization, and just plainly amazingness. Uh, I think it's so cool that they've started to do this. Uh, the armor is currently, yeah, it's very early stages, but it's still pretty cool. It gives you some protection. Um, I think that's that's all the stuff included in this update, but I'm incredibly incredibly excited to overviewing an update every Friday because I freaking love this game. So I still have to make the 7 Days to Die review, but that will definitely come out pretty soon. Uh, you can expect a 7 Days to Die series with some of my friends, and if, uh, yeah, that was that was it for this video, pretty short, but if you're new to my channel, please subscribe so you can see my future videos in your subscription box. Please drop a like, comment below if you have anything to say, and ultimately, have a fantastic day.